Hey Virgo, how are you guys? Let's do your reading real quick. I just want to show you pre-shuffle. We're going to put these back and lay out a full spread, but during pre-shuffle, this came, these came out, so, um, and we'll probably get them again to add to the story, but Prince of Swords came out, so we've got Prince and Princess of Swords, and look how they're both going towards this Nine of Cups. I feel like this Nine of Cups is like untapped potential, like Nine of Cups is it's, you know, abundance, it's blessings, it's wish fulfillment, but see how there's five here and four up here. I feel like you didn't get quite to the top of whatever this blessing is. It's not quite finished and there's more coming. There's more, it's, in, it's unfulfilled or it's, it didn't reach its full potential and it's not over. See these, both these are coming right towards it. I just felt like that was super strong and um, I wanted to share that, okay? So how are you guys? Also be thinking about a yes, no question. Um, and we will pull this pendulum and ask a yes-no question at the end, okay? Oh, well, let's see what is going on in love for Virgo. Could be money. I think it's love. Look like love to me. But you can take the same message and you can apply it towards, you know, a job or uh, finances or whatever situation you've got going on. This is how I stop sometimes to show you guys pre-shuffle. So we've got the Seven of Swords, wow, avoidance, and the Devil. Okay, okay, so this is coming through a lot in a lot of the signs, but the Seven of Swords is typically our, um, you know what I'm feeling is passive aggressiveness, which is interesting. Passive aggressive, but, but anyway, the Seven of Swords is, is typically a deception or avoidance somebody that won't take ownership, but yet they're not letting go either. This feels like, oh goodness. Oh, I don't know. I hope you guys don't have, aren't dealing with somebody really rotten, but this feels kind of like they, somebody may be letting you think it's over, but it's not. And then they're watching to see, you know, there's something about, I don't know, harsh words or Red flags? I'm not sure about that. Okay. All right. What do you guys have going on? Something major. Virgo. I don't feel like it's over, although I feel like somebody may be alluding to it being over, but maybe even using that as a, even though they know it's not over, like almost like letting someone suffer. I don't like that. I mean, we all do play games, but, you know, we're trying to outgrow all that stuff, aren't we? Two of Pentacles, juggling overall energy. Wow, Two of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. Stability, money. Somebody may really be struggling with money, finances. Um, this Queen of Pentacles could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be a mother. There could be a strong mother. This is typically somebody very resourceful stable and this is somebody trying to gain stability juggling two things maybe somebody's caught between two people four of swords doesn't know what to do all right seven of torches again so seven of wands this um the seven of wands is is holding your boundaries it's trying to hold your boundaries but it's kind of this kind of feels like you might be ready to be attacked or under attack or uh, trying to you know, keep your, like, um, protect yourself. Definitely whatever this is going on here, it's not over. Okay, Seven of Cups, options. Interesting, those two kind of look alike. And the Sevens, Sevens have been pretty strong lately too. Okay, so High Priestess, not saying much apparently. High Priestess is also intuitive, but it, it it looks like or it feels like you've kind of shut down maybe conver conversation or, or you're trying to figure out what to do, how to read, how to read things. Okay, the person that you're dealing with, I'm putting them down here. You can flip the rolls if you need to reverse it. Ten of, pen, ten of Swords, painful ending. Uh, Queen of... Queen of Swords, I'm sorry, Queen of Wands. So, um, something passion, something very fiery. 
Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Wow, justice. I'm wondering if somebody came in between you, but you do have a new beginning coming in love. I don't, it, part of, it could be the same person, but it could be someone new as well. It's Princess of Cups. Hmm. What happened? Well, so it looks like there was something, a pa passionate new beginning somewhere. Hmm. Five of wands. Competition, conflict, bickering. Sometimes it's petty. So it looks like there was a new beginning. It didn't, had a fiery, passionate start, but it doesn't look like it went all the way oh so there was something fiery and new but there was some truth and clarity that came out so you've got three aces so some big turnover and energies something big happened probably going to get the tower let's see and we'll ask some real specific questions here too. how about that seven of swords again hmm somebody's not shooting straight somebody's not being Totally forthcoming, maybe a little bit immature energy. This is the um, Knight of Sword, I mean, Knight of Wands. Maybe there's an in and out. I just, I don't, somebody's not being totally honest about their feelings. Yeah, they've like, sh there's the tower. I just said that. Look at this. So, this person, I think somebody just shuts down when there's conflict it's like then they want it better they they make effort or they put something in but then whenever there's conflict they give up too easy somebody is trying too hard to hold the peace or say they're avoidant see that four of swords they they um they have a hard time balancing or um not overreacting or overcorrecting. So if things get out of balance, they may be shut down or they think, oh, that's it, it's doomed. You know, they overreact. Interesting, 10 of swords. Okay, let's go back to this. So there's a tower and the king of swords. So somebody caused a tower, but then shut down and like maybe even doesn't talk now. Because, why? Because I think they couldn't make a decision. Somebody can't make a decision. <clears throat> so instead of, like, I hope somebody's not um, manipulating you with silence, silent treatment. So I mean, not everybody does it on purpose, but it is very uh, difficult to be on the recipient, recipient end of that. So you have the Hierophant here, truth. So there's a lot of truth that needs to come out. And that's probably why somebody is avoiding because there's so much energy here about truth. It's like the, all these swords are up. That's active. That's active and, you know, inquiring, trying to find out what is going on. Somebody might be secretly married or maybe, um, yeah, somebody might be with someone else and the other person is starting to find out or somebody is starting to ask questions, which shuts them down. Hmm. Five of Pentacles. Could be children involved. Yeah, I mean, there's just some deception here. I feel like the truth's going to come out, though. Um, tell me about the tower. It's the tower and the Hierophant. Somebody shut down because the truth was getting too close to becoming. There's major hidden truths here, I believe. Wow, I just put this one back. Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. What's the Seven of Pentacles? Wish I'd asked a question. What's the Seven of Pentacles? It's left you waiting, wondering, because this person won't communicate. They're shut down because they can't deal with conflict. Yeah. So you're waiting because you haven't let go. Because you don't have clarity. Trying to hold your balance. What's the Ace of Cups? Why do we have the Ace of Cups? What's coming in? Look at 
that, two of cups. Two people who see eye to eye, two people who love, two people who give, two people who honor each other, two of cups. You have new love coming. Now, could it be this person? Possibly. Um, but I'm not sure you're going to want it when you get a taste of what uh, this other thing that's coming in. Tell me more. Five of cups at the bottom. Somebody's going to feel left out when this comes in. So there is an outside or there is a third person minimum that is going to feel left out. Very focused attention. This is looking pretty beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, third party's coming to an end. Look at this. Ace of Cups. New love coming in. Um, two of Cups. Two people who love each other. I would not close yourself off to other possibilities because you have new love, something coming in that's going to sweep you off your feet. Um, three Swords. Upside down. We just, just came out of my mouth. Third party. Third party, somebody's going to be left out. Third party's coming to an end. There's going to be more focused attention. So for some of you, it might be the same person if you want them, but please don't close yourself off because it looks like you have an option. And you're going to be the one with options. Where was that options? Mm. Let me clarify that real quick. And then we'll get to our yes, no question. Not yet. This is the card that says, don't miss out on an opportunity. Don't cut yourself off because there is an opportunity coming. The Four of Cups is when you're not sure what you want. You don't have interest. So I just was just asking, you may not want this person back you're, because you're going to have options. And I think somebody is going to sweep you off your feet. Whether it be this person from your past, you're going to know because they're going to come in full force. But I think for a lot of you, it's going to be someone new and it's not going to be, you're not going to take interest in, you're going to want something steady and not take interest in, um, in this past thing. Oh, okay. It looks like you are probably going to walk away. I mean, of course that's up to you, but why do we have the three of cups celebration? It's amazing to be so happy. I think you're gonna be so happy with someone new, but you're going to have this other person return. That's what I think. Pretty, it's, it's, I mean, we know we're on track with the readings when the card, when what I say, the cards come out after I say it, right? And confirm. Look at this, cutting something out. Somebody's getting cut out. Third party's getting cut out. Um, and we're talking about you and your options, so it looks like you're going to be the one to cut something out, even though you don't know that yet. That, it looks like what's happening. Yeah, look, somebody's going to feel. Here we are again. Somebody's going to feel left out. Five of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Um, six of Swords is leaving a difficult situation. It's been long enough. Because it just isn't going to hit full potential. Now, and you know, that you got to decide that when it happens, but that's what this reading is looking like. Let's do your s no question, and I will pull an oracle. Wow, no way. That's crazy. Really get that one. Change. Oh my gosh, yes. You guys, be ready for something better. Something that's going to say, I don't need this anymore. What, and, and I'm not saying it can't be the same person, but it's going to be a totally different dynamic. Look at this. I understand that nothing can change or grow with or evolve without movement. So some of you may be um, not taking action because you're waiting for you know motivation or for clarity this is a strong message to take the action first and then you just take steps towards what you want because you're not going to get motivated by you know laying in the bed or sitting on the couch or not doing things you have to take the action and then 
other things start to fall into place. You have to, have to, have to take action. Somebody needs to hear that. And it could be about money. It could be about, oh, I'm frozen. I don't know what to do. I understand that feeling so strong. I struggle with that so much. But I'll tell you what, it doesn't, it gets it just, you get, you get negative momentum no matter which way you go. So if you stay str in the struggle and the stress and the s frozen, you get, um, you build negative momentum. To, things in motion stay in motion. Things at rest stay at rest. So this is take action, okay? I don't think that necessarily is towards this person. It could be take action towards, say, well, I don't feel up to seeing, you know, going out with other people because I don't have my hair done and I don't look good. Take action towards looking better if that's what's holding you back. Take action towards eating better. Take action towards being better if that's what's holding you back. If it's towards money or finances, take action towards those things, okay? Because you're going to have to change some things. And you, all you have to do is take the first few steps and then don't think about the whole elephant. You know that saying, how do you eat an elephant? You One bite at a time. You don't look at the whole elephant. You just take small steps. Okay, so it says, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. This whole thing could be for you and this person to learn to grow. The status quo has an appeal, but you will never learn or grow if your circumstances stay the same. This is like my situation right now. Oh my goodness. Everybody wants life to be better, but that requires change. You have chosen to incarnate into the physical dimension called Earth because the myriad of opportunities. If you don't take advantage of them, what is the point? I'm going to hold this up so you guys can screenshot it here in a second. Stay within your comfort zone. Staying within your comfort zone is overrated. So part of me is really ticked off at the whole, you know, law of attraction stuff we were taught about. Because I really got into that, I, and I could lose my house now. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm embarrassed to say it. But because I, like we all get, they had that, not all of us, but some of us, that law of attraction, a big hiccup in it, you have to take action. You can't just sit on a couch and think, and not that I ever did that, but I did put more, more um, energy into thinking about it and sometimes didn't take enough action, you know, but you can't, and that's not really a Virgo trait. So you guys are probably like rolling your eyes at me right now, <laughs> but you have to take action. And that law of attraction thing, don't get caught up. I mean, I'm all about manifesting. We'll manifest in the, we will manifest in the comments together. And I think there is power in that because these videos go all over the world. We can manifest great things together, but I don't, I think that the, some of the problem with some of the manifestation is it doesn't talk about action enough and we have to make things happen. Money, you know, you have to have both. I think you're going to do a lot better if you have both. You open the, the um, doors for money to flow in, for love to flow in. You make sure you don't have blocks. But like for me, I had blocks in, in when it came to allowing those things in. So you have to do things to grow. You have to, okay? I mean, not... I don't know. Some, sometimes, you know, I sit there and think that maybe all that is true, but it just doesn't seem like it. It seems like it doesn't, it doesn't work it, or we're not in a place of empowerment when we're not trying and taking action, you know? So even if it does, money could flow to us without action, it doesn't put us in a place of empowerment, right? We are more rewarded and happy when we earn things and we do take, take, um, steps. So, okay. So anyway, I'm going to get off that soapbox. So you've chosen to incarnate in this physical dimension called earth because of the myriad of opportunities. If you don't take advantage of them, what is the point? Staying within your comfort zone is overrated with change comes transformation. And with transformation comes evolution. Stop viewing change as good or bad because all change nourishes your soul. Don't equate it with a lack of control. Life happens and it's supposed to happen. You can direct how it plays out and you always have the power to accept a change that redirects your path. Okay, so I'm gonna let you screenshot that. I might make a short out of that change card also. Cause it's just that good. There you go. Hopefully you got that. Pause it and then I don't know if you can pause it and get a clear picture. That's why I'm trying to hold it still. All right, I'm gonna pull one more. One more. 
I love you guys so much. Please, you guys, like, I'm my channel is tr struggling trying to get back on track. So if you do watch the channel and you're not subscribed, I see that like 80% that watch aren't subscribed. Please subscribe and tap the bell so that you can select all so that the um, you get all the notifications and so the videos get picked up, back, picked back up. I'm trying to save, I am trying to save the channel and my house <laughs> and everything else that I can't, that I'm struggling with right now. So. Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much, too, for all your support and the, all the comments help, you know, watching the commercials. I think that helps. Everything, all your activity. Thumbs up and, okay, stop talking. Come on. Come on now. All right. I turn every experience into an opportunity. So, okay, I could use this, too. So each problem has a solution. All experiences is are opportunities for me to learn and grow. I am safe. So we'll put some intentions in the comments. You guys thumbs up on them, write your own intentions. We'll manifest together. Um, but this is, this, sometimes things like this that seem impossible may actually happen because you were on the vert. Remember we started this reading off with the word potential. Something isn't reaching full potential. That was one of the very first things I saw, and it came back. So there could be something that if it worked out, if there wasn't a challenge involved, and this kind of goes along with what I was just saying about, you know, making things happen. If there wasn't a challenge involved, then maybe this thing would not have hit its full potential. You know, maybe this person wouldn't have appreciated you as much or you them, that sort of thing. Um, so there is something major here about potential, but regardless, or maybe it's about appreciation, but you're get, heading towards a place of two of cups, two people who love each other, two people who give, two people who share, two people who see eye to eye, and you, you don't, you deserve not to settle for someone that isn't, you know, telling you and everyone else how much they love you. All right. Bye, Virgo.